enter your passcode followed by the pound key or star zero to speak with an operator. Your passcode has been confirmed. Please wait while you are joined to the conference. Hello? Hey, Stuart. Yeah, hello. Sure, yeah? Hey, it's Bruce. Hi, uh, Bruce. How you doing? All right. I'm not sure if we're the only two on right now or not. Bruce, don't say anything too bad. I'm here with Matt. <laughs> Hi, Bruce. Hi. I'll keep it clean. Do you want to talk about cheese? Cheese? <laughs> cheese in a can. Cheese, but what about that McDonald's at the Pentagon, eh? <laughs> so many people. No one believes me. Really? Yeah. You mentioned I that picture. Face with the McDonald's in the middle. It's just incredible. <laughs> uh, uh, so what's happening in your world then, Bruce? Busy? Uh, yeah, just still uh, catching up from the time when I was away, so working on that stuff and um I just saw the information about the big ACPO cyber conference in Sheffield. Oh yes, yeah, you're gonna be able to come? I think so, yeah. Good. So, I mean we're we're um I think uh we're sort of almost on mass gonna be going up to it, so it should be quite a good uh, event. Oh yeah, it sounds good. Uh, got John Greaves speaking at it. He's a, he, I don't know if you've ever met him, but he's a lovely man. Really? Oh yeah, yeah. One of one of uh, uh, true sort of um, old school detective when he's uh, mad as a box of frogs. <laughs> <laughs> Is Matt presenting up there? Or? Yeah, I, don't, I think my level of knowledge is too high for a lot of them. Yeah, we'll just leave them in charge of the IT. <laughs> okay. Uh, I've never been to Sheffield. No, no that's too much. You've missed nothing. The car, really? Oh, yeah, I'm afraid so. It, it's not exactly a jewel in England's crown. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But there you go. Well, there's a big What's university it? up there, right? Sorry? Isn't there a big university up there? Yeah, yeah Sheffield Uni is quite yeah. big. There's a huge shopping centre as well, but I think that's about it. Is that it? It's a bull ring. Is that the famous thing in Sheffield, is a bull ring? Or there's a big roundabout in the middle of it, which uh, sort of got an upstairs and a downstairs. It was quite exciting in the 1970s. <laughs> okay. <laughs> there's a Flyers nightclub. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Is yeah, that was good for a night out. Is it McDonald's? <laughs> oh, great. I look forward to that. <laughs> <laughs> There's no Dunkin' Donuts, though, because they're pure Chicago. <laughs> <laughs> I think, you're not sure. It's right there somewhere, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> they might have shot a movie there, but then again, maybe not. <laughs> No, I wasn't there. It's here. No, no. Uh, it was, uh, it was, uh, I've told so many people about that. But... Did you speak to um, Andy about that information? Oh uh, no, not yet. I've not. Okay. No, that, I... well, that's good because uh, it's only just dawned on me. I, I forgot to mention it to him. I went in to see him, but his phone was he was in a phone call, so I didn't actually uh, forewarn him. But I'll do that straight after this. I reached back out to our Washington field office and told them that Andy was a good point of contact. And then um, they came back and said, oh, well, we kind of want to do a dual interview with him. So I need to get back with them and try to sort that out because I know that's kind of not what you guys normally do. That's, that's, that's an interesting one, that. Um, yeah. I mean, it's... It, <laughs> He's 18 years old, isn't he? He's 18, he says, yes. Okay, well, I mean, that, okay, it's a step in the right direction there, then. Um, but, um, 
maybe step one would if would be for us to do the first introduction. Okay. Uh, and then move on from there. So we'll, we'll discuss it after, Bruce. Okay, that's fine. Oh, hello. This is uh, Tim Oster calling from uh, headquarters. Uh, sorry for joining late. Uh, we had a conference room that was double booked, so uh, Jerry and Chad are going to be joining momentarily. Um, oh, and uh, who's on the call right now? You've got your London contingent. Okay. Jordan, and Matt, and uh, Bruce in that little office down the road. Okay. Yes. <laughs> Los Angeles is here too. L.A. Anyone else? Probably in the background. Yeah. So all we have is uh, UK and LA. All right, this is going to be a short call. <laughs> 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 all right. All right, well, uh, go ahead, uh, Matt, if you want to take off. Uh, just let us know where you guys stand. Um, well, we um, basically, as was, I think, on the last call, we've um, uh, we've still got Ryan Cleary, and James Davis. I can deal with that if you want. Go ahead. I think somebody just hopped on. Hey, sorry, it's Chad Hunt from the FBI. Yeah, hey, Chad. Uh, as I say, the situation this was really, we've got Ryan Cleary and Jake Davis, Stuart Court on the 27th, um, following some discussion with uh, the New York office. Uh, we're looking to try and build some time in uh, to allow some uh, operational matters to uh, fulfill on your side of the, uh, the water. Um, so we've, we've set back the further arrests of Kayla and TFLO, uh, that being and um, until we know what's happening. We've got our prosecution council making an application um, in chambers, i.e. Uh, without the defence knowing uh, to seek a way to try and uh, factor some time in that won't look suspicious. Okay. How much time do you think is reasonable that they'll be able well, to? I've, I've gone and said uh, eight weeks. Okay. Um, if they come back and say they only give us six, then I think it still um, still helps you guys out. Yeah. But I've, I've said for eight weeks uh, in the first instance. We have got Ryan Cleary's indecent images, um, which have been found um, Partly by our guys and partly by the USAF uh, team who looked at his hard drive. So what we're going to propose is that they get dealt with first. Historically, they're the uh, the older offences, and then um, that would take six to eight weeks before we then rolled on to the second half of it. But it's down to the trial judge really how he wants to play. Okay. And, and th I just want to express our uh, gratitude for uh, being flexible on this. Uh, I know uh, we all, I know New York appreciates it, and uh, FBI as a whole. Hey, we're here to help. <laughs> we appreciate but, that. We've cocked, things, we've cocked things up in the past. We know that. So it's, uh, yeah, it, it's, um, it gives us more time to examine the chat logs in any event. So uh, it's, it's, it's not that much of a hardship. Okay. Well, that's great. Uh, is there anything else? Um, just one thing, the, the lad um, uh, who was CSL SEC, uh, is his real name, known as Tawongs. Um, he, he was um, of interest to one of the guys at New York. Um, he got arrested just before Christmas for, um, I think, DDoSing his school, and then he, um, he did some stuff over the Christmas break on the uh, supposed Project Mayhem or whatever the hell that was, Operation Fuck You, where he hacked a, um, uh, a website, I think it was a Manchester Credit Union, which is actually based in Jamaica, and he faced their site. He's a 15-year-old um, kid who's um, basically just doing this all for attention and a bit of an idiot. But what he has done, which is kind of curious, is, is written a statement through, it looks, his school, basically explaining how he came to become a hacker and what things he has done. So we're just researching that. One of the ones he, he has claimed credit for in this statement is a thing called Steam, which is a, some sort of gaming site mm -hmm. with 32,000 usernames and logins and credit card details, which he's suggesting... He's head off. I don't know if that's a job that any of you guys are dealing with, but if it is, um, we've got a statement someone's admitting to 